the, the screen when you call connect call. How it start the freeway handshake, okay? It start freeway handshake with a field called TCP flex. Okay, so the TV flag what day? Eh? How many bits it have? It's eight bits. If eight bits, okay. So every bit mean different thing. So let's take a look. So we have a set of bits. Uh, some of bits are uh, we will uh, skip it. Don't talk about it. Let's say that there's a congestion window reduce. Okay, so to uh, to talk something about a congestion control, explicit congestion notification to tell. The inter intermediate router or something change. So others are important now. The urgent point I said I don't I don't want to cover it. You can look at some box, okay? What is the keyword you want to look for with, with this urgent point? It's called out of band, out of band message or O O O B message, okay? Then you will discover the topic about using an urgent pointer. Okay, how are others? Others are important now. The sync and the theme are about connection establishment and connection tear down. So this is a sync to uh, sync. The, the meaning is to synchronize a sequence number, or I should say they are the three way handshake. Okay, and also later on we will have four way handshake. Four way handshake is to tear down the connection, close the connection. How about others? Uh, acknowledgement to say that this packet. It's an acknowledgement packet to say that uh, whether it's a reset or not. Okay, next time let me talk about uh, uh what is it? Uh, China Great Firewall. Okay, it just reset a lot. Okay, so reset means that uh, when you receive reset, immediately close the t close the TCP, close the TCP immediately. Call reset, push. Uh, you will seldom see it or seldom use it. Is to tell that. Opposite side that oh when you get the message immediately push it to the application layer, okay. So these are the eight fields the all eight bits are used already, okay. So uh, uh, this is an illustration. So what is the meaning of uh, let's say I have a packet called fin app. Usually we we'll call it fin app. So what is the meaning of fin app? It means a certain bit is on. It's a fin bit and the app bit is on. Now in the examination, I will ask you, hey, where is the fin bit? No, crazy. Okay, I don't, I don't do it. Okay. Okay, it's drop. So I will only ask you, hey, uh, what is the use of fin or we are fin app? Okay, I don't ask you, hey, what is the possession? So this, is, this is just a illustration only. Okay. What is the freeway handshake? Freeway handshake, we will use this three combination. The same. That means that only the same turn on. The same app. The same and the app are turn, both turn on, as well as the app. The three combinations. With the three combinations, how we establish the freeway handshake? First, we have the same. So what is the meaning of same? Very interesting, huh? The so STQ here. It's an A. So what's the meaning of A? You can imagine that it is a one or a zero, okay? It's just a random number. It's just a random number, okay? A random number to, this, to, to tell you that, okay, let's start the communication using a random sequence number, okay? And you may, interesting, that very interesting, why is a random, okay? We have a big story behind it, why is it random? Okay. Uh, let me uh, let later find out uh, my uh, my fourth official elite class notes. Okay. Uh, fourth official elite class notes has talked about why it's a random. Let me find find it out. Okay. It is about attack. Okay. So here is a a, and then here is must be zero, must be zero to say that I don't want to acknowledge anything. I don't want to acknowledge anything. It means that the byte stream start with zero byte. No. It means nothing and no data. So that means only the header, no data. So that means that before the application layer can say anything, I start to sync. Then I will have a sync app. Sync app to tell, actually what's app? App means acknowledgement, right? I want to acknowledge the same. Okay, this is a very simple uh, illustration, but with some changes here, this ACK and this SDQ, remember, they form a pair, right? 
they describe the stream from the server to the client. And look at this stream change. Originally, the ACK is set zero. It means that actually means what? I don't know what to start because the stream doesn't exist. The stream doesn't exist because it's the first uh, packet between us. Now here, this guy know that, oh, you want to start, okay? I start with another random number called, what uh, Every time I have to click to this string, okay? Okay, so what does this mean? The meaning means that uh, I want to start with a B, random stream B. So that means that one stream is start with A, one stream start with B. And one point to identify that this is a special packet. So this is uh, documented in, uh, in RFC. To mean that this is a special packet, we do some special thing. This ACK want to acknowledge what? Originally, it was acknowledge that, okay, you say that your sequence is A, and there's no data. Then I acknowledge you using A plus zero. That means eight. But I want to make it special. I become A plus one. Okay, I become A plus one. Then in the last, we will also do the same thing for this flow to distinguish that this is a special packet, not a normal ACK packet. I want to tell you that I want to acknowledge you B plus zero, no, no more. It's B plus zero plus uh, X from one. Okay, to tell that I'm looking for this guy to be acknowledged. So within this three, okay, you, you already know how to establish the knowledge, right? We know that you're ready, you know that you know that I know you're ready, something like that. Yeah, yeah, when I say that there's no bug, okay. So then uh, this three guys already established enough knowledge as well as exchanging the sequence number. Oh, very uh, efficiently, we've done everything. This is a three-way handshake. Any questions? So you have no question, right? Because it's just something hard code in your mind. Now, there's a not something that you can hard code. It's the four-way handshake. Huh? Why four-way? Huh? Think about it. Oh, okay, I want to end the game, okay? Just walk, just walk away, okay? Why do you need four, okay? So, this time, it's not about the knowledge, but about implementation. So, what's the meaning about implementation? Now, let's look at the direction of the four-way handshake. Very strange, huh? You imagine that this four-way, it should be this, 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 right? This I mean, A to B, B to A, and then A to B, B to A. No, four-way handshake is like this. A to B, B to A, A another B to A, and E to B. So how to understand what is the meaning? The meaning is very simple. It's like this. Let's say A is the active side. Actively say that I don't want to play. I want to close the connection. Okay. Oh, by the way, how many of you are did not start the assignment? Hmm. <laughs> so then I expect that what I say later you will understand. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, lah. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's go the journey. So Finn, Finn is the first. Packet that when you call close, when you call close, this guy want to close out, call close. Then it will trigger the four-way handshake, and when B receive it, it will acknowledge this fin. Very natural, right? Now what happened to this fin? Huh? This extra fin, okay? Now there are times that I don't know whether you experience or not. Uh, some people already asked me the same question. When you started to call close, how about the other end? The, can the other end call close at the same time as you? Or I should say, in our assignment, when a client call close, when your server should call close? When? You guys are implementing, right? When a client call close, then when the server should call close? What, what, say what? Yeah, send a close reply. Okay, but you know, when you send a close request, can you immediately call close? No, no. 
go. Okay, you wait for the other side. Send a wait calls reply. Now after the other side calls reply, what should the other side do? Calls. How about the client? Receive it and then call calls. Okay. So this is our assignment. Our assignment has helped you a lot. Now let's take a look at here. This scenario is totally different from your assignment. This scenario is like this. Let's say this guy don't want to play. This guy call close. How about this side? This side may be reading. Maybe reading. Okay? So this thing when it was received by the other side, the other side don't have a chance to call close at the same time, right? Because this side is calling read, read it. It don't know whether it has any, anything coming in, okay? So it's read it. Now here, what, what happened to the other side? When the A call close, B will eventually receive zero. Return value zero from the read system call. That means the read system call find that nothing to read anymore. Understand why? Because A, a don't want to play anymore. So you should not receive anything anymore. Now, can you ex experience there a time delay? So when this is a time delay, how about the other side? The other side cannot say that I immediately destroy the socket. Right? I cannot destroy that. Why? Because the other side never call close. OK? So what so we do here is just uh, what we call, I cannot, I cannot highlight it. Can I can I open a pen? Tools and notate. Yeah. No no pen here. I Mac sucks. Okay. So uh, uh, this side, this two first two uh, packet is just a partial close, half close. What is the meaning of half close? A you know that I don't want to play, but A don't know. B don't want to play. Ah, so this is, this is the same as for your handshake? Yes, just the same as for your handshake. Here, I don't want to play, but this side don't say that I don't want to play. So in terms of implementation, we need to delay for a while. We need to delay for a while, and during this period be between the ACK and the fin, this is the time delay. That allow for this guy to get ready and call close. Okay, when the other side get ready and call close, that means that now A also knows that B knows A want to close, and B is ready to close. Then the last packet is to signal that okay, I know that we can both close down. Okay, so this is the what we mean the four way handshake. We call it a waiting period for the other side to get ready and call close. So that means that how long this period can be? Infinite. I try. I try. I just put this amount one slip one. Okay? You call close, I don't call close. Try me. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. You can also try it. You can look at the, the TCP flow. It suddenly holds both end stops. But here, this end don't close the socket. It won't close the socket, it will just wait for this third message to come. Very interesting. Ah, very interesting. Now, what's next? Let's say this guy is ready and send the packet in, and then I will send ACK out. Now, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Because this is the signaling the end of the connection, very important, right? What if this pin is lost? No problem, huh? This pin is lost, this guy will, will reply, right? Why this guy will oh, we'll reply, we we'll transmit. Why A will be transmit? Yeah, no app. No app, you don't app. Then I keep on we transmit the pin. No problem. How about this pin? How about this pin is lost? The second thing, yeah, still no app, right? Still no app, so this side will keep on sending until the app has come. Now, what if this app had lost? 
What if this X has lost? Still the same, right? Fin will keep retransmitting. But one very important part. At this point, at this point, At this point, when you have experience in implementing assignment, when you will get this. When you want to buy, when you want to buy a server port, okay? Let's say you buy port one two three four five. You start normally, and suddenly you control C the server, mm -hmm. and you want to start the server again. It say that port is in use, right? Why? Here is the reason. Now, first, listen carefully. What is the reason? The reason is called time wait. Time wait is just a variable. The variable state that uh, 60 seconds, this socket will keep open, even though you send out AC head. And the reason is I just asked you. Because this AC head can lost, and the B will keep retransmitting FIN. Now, what if? I determine that, okay, I set up ACK, that means that everything's fine, we can close. Then, when this fin retransmit, the, so the socket is no longer there. Okay? So, this is very bad. That's why here, we have a timeout of 60 seconds to understand that, mm, because there is no, no other replies, okay? To understand that, we will have a chance that ACK is lost and we will have to be prepared FIN will retransmit and that's why you have to wait for 60 seconds before you can restart your server now I give you the hints how can you avoid it? how? did uh, Taylor tell you how to do the rebind setting of socket option? Hmm? Oh, no, no, close the terminal no. <laughs> The hint is never kill the server using Control C. Look at here. Who start the close? Who will take the time up, time wait? Now think about it. If you Control C the server, then will be server who take the time wait. If you Control C the client, then it's the client to take the time wait. But the client don't need a port. Don't need a specific plot, just a random plot. Okay? So that means that please write a better server. Don't write a bucky server. The bucky server says, oh, it get killed, okay? Or oh, it's an addition fault, okay? Then what should you do? Wait for 60 seconds, okay? Because you close it. Of course, I, 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 I don't get it. Whether our tutor tell you about this, there is a setting called a rebinding setting. Yeah, socket we use. Okay, how many of you have heard of this? Did you uh, talk about it? <laughs> Anybody <laughs> have, has read the tutorial notes? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then, they seem to be a transparent to you guys. <laughs> okay, feel bad about this. Okay, so let's stop here. Okay, this is something important to your assignment, right? The time waits. Okay, see you later.